Hey, welcome back. This sequence that I'm going to show you now was uh, primarily see for my students of performance yoga um, because they're all on a little bit of a break at the moment and they'll be back in action next week. So just to get yourselves loosened out a little bit before you start back into a six week block, give this sequence a shot. If you've never tried yoga before or um, any sort of thing like this, you should be able to follow my instructions pretty easily. You really don't need anything fancy either. Uh, mat, perhaps, and a little bit of space. That's it. So start off by coming into a seated position. You can sit yourself up onto two little blocks or maybe a couple of phone books or books that you have at home that might prop yourself up quite nicely. But what you're looking for is a nice, straight, comfortable spine. You can bring your hands into your heart center. And we'll start by simply taking the chin down to the chest just to loosen up the back of the neck a little bit. Take a nice, deep, effective breath there in that position. Slowly bring your head back up and take your left ear down to your left shoulder. So not your ear up to your shoulder, rather your ear down to your shoulder. You'll start to feel a nice big stretch coming in through one side. We'll take the right ear down over to the right shoulder now. So again, you're not trying to creep up the arm and shoulder up to your ear. You're letting the shoulders be heavy as you take a nice deep breath. In and out. Nice and slowly. Bring your hands out and just start to rotate out those wrists in performance yoga and all types of yoga. There tends to be a lot of plank positions, downward facing dogs, basically a lot of pressure on the hands. And this is something that we don't do naturally in everyday life, so it's well worth warming up and rotating out the wrists a little bit before you start. Interlace your fingers, press your palms away from you, and then take your arms up and overhead just for a nice big stretch. Left arm down, reach up and over with the right hand. A nice big deep breath in that position. All the way over to the other side, left arm up and over then. Nice big deep breath in that position. Keeping it nice and easy, we're going to turn left. Lengthening the spine with each inhale, potentially twisting a little further with each exhale. It's just early days now, so don't push yourself too much initially. And we'll take ourselves around to the opposite side. Inhaling, lengthening the spine, exhaling. Taking yourself into as much of a twist as you feel your body needs at the moment. Coming back, hands on the knees, inhale, chest lifts, and exhale, rounding the spine. Inhaling, chest lifts, lengthening, and exhaling, rounding the spine. We'll just take one more of those. And this is just really helping us mobilize all little small nooks and crannies in our bodies before we take on any of the bigger movements. And do you know what? It just feels good. No need for justification. Round the shoulders when you're ready. Nice big circles. You can go all the way in one direction a couple of times and then reverse the direction. Simple enough. Bring yourself onto your hands and knees then. Now once you're on your hands and knees, I really highly recommend placing the hands directly under the shoulders the knees directly under the hips and the toes pointing away from you initially. Make sure you cannot see your feet. If your feet were touching, you'd be able to see them or if they were stuck out to the sides, you'd be able to see them. But if they're hidden behind your thighs, you're all good in terms of alignment here. When you're ready, a little few cat cows now inhaling, looking up, tailbone up, exhaling, rounding the spine, arching the back. And then when you're ready, you inhale. Head up, tail up again, and exhale, rounding the spine. Continue at your own breathing rate. You don't have to mirror me exactly. I'm just guiding you. This is one of the best exercises you could do for your spine to encourage mobility into flexion and extension. It's offloaded, it's gentle. And it helps you move with your breath. 
Let's move back into child's pose. Toes touch, knees out. Bum heads back in the direction of our heels. There should be no discomfort anywhere at this point. If there's any discomfort in your knees, you can just keep your hips lifted a little bit. Maybe even prop a pillow in between your bum and your heels. Stretch out your arms if that's comfortable for you. Otherwise, you can put your hands under your forehead just like this. Or make two little fists. Put your forehead down onto these little fists, little pillows almost. Now in this position, it just gives you an opportunity to take a few deep breaths into the back of your body, while at the same time stretching the hips, knees and ankle joints. It's a huge amount of benefit from something that is so simple, something that looks so simple. But the key thing with any of these movements or poses is to give them time. They're not to be rushed. Give them your attention. Give your mind and body a chance just to synchronize with each other. And by that, I mean give your mind a little bit of time just to appreciate the feedback it's getting from different areas in your body. And all that will make a lot more sense the more you practice yoga. Let's come back up to all fours. We'll take a few little tail wags here now, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips again. And just looking around my right shoulder, sticking out the right hip to see it, tail wag. And then the same to the other side, tail wag. into child's pose just for a moment. I'm going to move my child's pose now a little bit, hands over to the right. And hands over to my left. Brilliant. Let's walk our way up to the very front of our mat. Feet are hip distance apart, which is two of your fist distance apart. No blocks needed, no straps needed, nothing needed but you now. Little bend in the knees, hips lower, head can relax down. Allow yourself a few breaths here in flexion. Then we're going to inhale, slide our hands up our shins, straighten our spine. And exhale, fold forward again, bending the knees, lowering the head. Inhale, lengthening the spine, making it parallel to the floor almost, while straightening your knees. Exhale, slide back down again. Inhale, lengthening the spine, beginning to straighten the knees, but not locking them out. Exhale, lowering down. Hands into your heart center. Leading with your chest, inhale, lengthen the spine, stand all the way up. Continue that breath in and reach all the way up. Now give your blood pressure, give your system a little bit of a chance here and now just to steady. And then reach up with your right hand. Reach up with your left hand and get a few alternate stretches going through each side of your body here. This is good stuff to do in the morning, by the way. Great at any time of the day, but it'll really wake you up in the morning. Now reach up, gaze in between your hands, inhaling. Exhale, hands into the heart center, bend the knees, fold forward, back into your forward fold, keep the knees bent. Inhale, lengthening the spine parallel to the floor, hands to the knees, exhale, lowering them back down again. Let's take the right foot back and drop the right knee down. Inhale, lift the chest off the front thigh. Exhale, lower it back down again. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, stay there. 
land the palms down, back knee off the floor. And inhale the left arm all the way up to the ceiling and you can look up at that left hand if you like. Exhale it all the way back down again. Take your left leg back to plank. If you like, lower the knees, otherwise chin and chest to the floor. Inhale up into mini cobra. Exhale, push up and back to downward facing dog. Let's walk our feet forward slowly. Hands into your heart center, lead with your chest, lifting, inhaling, up you come. Continue that lift up to your hands. And we'll do our little side stretches here again, our side reaches, just one hand reaching up and then the other. One hand reaching up and then the other. Getting that side stretch, working the whole way through the side of your body. Nice. Steady up. Look up and gaze up in between the two hands. Inhale, reach up the two hands. Exhale, hands into your heart center. Down you come forward, fold. Inhale, half lift, straightening the spine, beginning to straighten the knees. Exhale, forward fold. Let's take the left leg back, left knee down at the moment. Notice how your tummy likes to rest on your front thigh here, but just for a breath in, inhale, lift that tummy off your thigh, lengthening and lifting your chest. Exhale, let it go down again. Inhale, lifting your tummy off your thigh. Exhale, let it go down again. Plant the palms down as if to do plank. Take the back knee off the floor. And then inhale the right arm up to the ceiling and you can look up at it if you like. You don't have to look up at it. You can stay looking at the floor, straight ahead or up. Down it comes. Back to plank with that right leg. Once in plank, knees can go down or just chin and chest down. Try and bring the elbows as close to your side as possible. Down you come. Inhale up into mini cobra. Exhale, push the hips back for downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs there now, just softening out the backs of the calves, backs of the hamstrings. Don't push into any pain at the back of your knees. Breathe. Feet touch, take the right leg back, 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 back. Try and touch the wall behind you. And if possible, bring that right knee up to your nose. Plant your right foot down in between your two hands. And we'll step up for warrior one. You may need to hop your back leg in a little bit. Hands up onto the hips. Back knee can be bent a little touch. With your two hands on your hips here, level the hips out. That often means drop the right hip slightly and draw the pubic bone up to the belly button so that if you were to look down, you could see your pubic bone. Wobbly. Float forwards with the two arms and then plug the shoulders back into their sockets. Breathe here. Hands into your heart center. Lower the back knee to the floor and turn right, placing the outer left elbow onto the outer right knee. We're just gonna work on twist here. Lengthen your spine and see if you can twist a little further around with every exhale. Again, lengthening the spine with every in-breath, every out-breath, you'll see you can twist yourself just a touch further. Come back to your heart center. Plant the palms, take the right leg back. We can move through a little flow here now. Knees down if you like, or elbows in, chin and chest down. Inhale up into cobra. 
Exhale, push the hips back for a down dog. Again, we can spend a little few minutes here or a few breaths, just pedaling out any tightness in the backs of the calves or the hamstrings. I'm a big fan of dynamic mobility, dynamic stretching rather than just holding a static position. You'll all know that by now. So steady up, take that left leg back, push it to the wall behind you, and then bring the knee and your nose together. Plant the left foot up between the two hands. Lengthen the chest and spine for a moment. Little hop in, hands up onto your hips. Warrior one, opposite side. So notice here is a good example now of that right leg now, the back leg. The hip can often be dragged back with that back leg. So move it forward so that it's level with the other side. Then draw the pubic bone up to the belly button slightly. And it's perfectly okay to have the back knee bent, back heel off the ground here. Inhale the arms up, shoulders back into their sockets. Good for shoulder stability. And a couple of nice breaths here. Continuously scanning the body. So you're continuously asking, what's happening to the right hip? Is it being dragged back or could I maintain that seriously good hip stability there? Hands into the heart center. Lower the back knee down slowly. Lovely. Lengthening the spine on an inhale. Turning left this time on your exhale. Connect the outer right elbow to the outside of the left knee. And instead of crouching down now here, it's all about lift and twist. So lengthening the spine turning a little further to the left with every exhale. Now you can look down at the foot, you can look out the window, you can look up at the ceiling. Find a steady point and look at that. And when you found that steady point, maybe challenge yourself by looking a little further away from it, just to get your balance system really challenged. Back to your heart center, plant the palms, we go for a flow, Left leg back. Knees down if you like, or elbows in, shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, chin and chest to the floor. Inhale, cobra again. And this time we go back to child's pose. Have a few deep breaths in child's pose and take your hands over to the right if you like. So you can develop that stretch a little bit more on one side. And then again, we go opposite over to the left. Back to the front. And then slowly bringing ourselves back up again. Your hands in at your heart center. Lengthen the spine again is key. Or just slowing ourselves down a little bit. Swing the legs out in front of you. Sitting down. Now notice that my back is fairly straight there. If you were feeling that your back was being pulled in that direction, it's usually just an indication of uh, hamstrings that are a little on the tight side. So what I would like you to do in that case is put a block or a book under your bum so that you can sit up tall without having the slump in your spine there. It'd be really important for you. Otherwise, I'm going to do a nice little twist. So just take that right foot in towards you right hand behind you just hold on with your left hand onto your right knee and use that connection there to turn from so you're turning as far right as you can now ensure that you are not turning on a twisted spine or on a flexed spine i really want you to keep up tall that's the kind of secret here that's what makes the magic happen 
Now I'm not pulling this knee in either. I'm keep it sturdy. It's not budging, but I'm using it as as a bind, as something to to really lever off. After approximately six deep breaths in this position, we're going to take it around to the other side. Just straightening out the right leg, taking in that left leg, turning left. And I often use this backhand just to give myself a little bit more of a push up, because the more neutral I am in a spinal position, the more I can take myself around into a little bit of a twist. Try to ensure the shoulders aren't up to the ears either, of course, as always. that we were in at the start, little cross legs, hands into your heart centre. And it's a nice little way to get through 20 minutes, 15 minutes or whatever it was exactly, I'm not, never quite sure. Bring your hands into your heart centre. Namaste. You did great and I'm looking forward to meeting you soon in class hopefully and if anyone's wondering <laughs> what this is. I don't have my mat with me, so I've been using a beach towel that I got on a different uh, different holiday. And yeah, it's a uh, Spider-Man, randomly enough. Anyway, enjoy. See you soon. Bye-bye.